Hello everybody, this is Kyrix with more This Week in Kyrix. Today is Wednesday, August 9th of 2017. It is in fact not. That is actually a lie. It is actually the 8th. But that's not that unusual. I have often been known to record the day before. You know, it's a thing I do sometimes. In this particular case, however, I am doing this in the morning before I've actually done anything. Yeah. I strange, I know. It's, uh... Partly because, quite frankly, I got a lot of shit done this week, and I figure that by itself can carry an episode, you know? <sighs> it, it's gonna be a busy fucking week for me, too. But let's start with a simple thing. For one thing, I'm done with, uh, with one of the audiobooks I was listening to, Catalyst. A Rogue One story. Basically the prequel to Rogue One. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not a good book. It's not a bad book. It's not a good book. My issue basically stems from the fact that I don't care enough about the characters. Which is kind of a big deal. Actually, when you're uh, basing it around the characters. You kind of got to give a shit, and if you don't, well, there's going to be some problems, you know? But, uh, yeah, to put this... Well, let, let's, let's be charitable. Let's start with the things that actually got right. Uh, well, it ended. <laughs> no, uh, the things that actually got right... Oh, fuck, that's a short list. Um, I don't care about the Earth cells. Galen and Lyra, or as it's spelled, Lyra. They keep calling her Lyra. <clears throat> but I looked at the spelling, that's how you spell Lyra. But anyway, Lyra, Lyra. Galen and her, they're just not that compelling characters. You know, I've seen scientists before, I've seen explorers before, there's nothing new there. Except that they're married to each other pretty much the gist of what's unique about them as a couple. Uh, Jin, the actual star of Rogue One, uh, she... she's a child. She's pre-age of eight years old. And yes, I'm pretty sure that today is a holiday in the game. So Jin contributes not a goddamn thing to the story. Jin's sole contribution to the story is that she's adorable and people are enchanted whenever they get around her. Like, oh, she's such a cutie, she's such a sweetheart, blah, 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 you know. And that's just not enough to hold. You know, it's just not a thing. So, there you have it. Um, let's see. I, I, I can like books that don't feature the Jedi at all. It's hard, but I can problem is, in order for me to do so, you have to break out the really good stuff. Like, uh, for example, Timothy's on, you know, Mr. Star Wars. Ugh. I'm gonna do a thing I don't normally do. No, no, I'm not gonna do a thing I don't normally do. I was gonna restart the thing and get some strawberry sheets, but I'm not gonna. But yeah, uh, Timothy Zahn did a book called Scoundrels, and it was all about Han Solo and his smuggler buddies pulling a major job. And I really had my doubts going into this book because I don't really care for Han. I mean, I don't hate the guy. He's a good enough character. I just... When you give me an option between a Han Solo story and literally any Jedi, I'm not going to leap at Han Solo for its chance. I'm not one of those people. But, uh, you know, Timothy Zahn is a very talented writer. He's given us some of the most beloved characters in the Expanded Universe. Some of which are back to being canon. Yay, Thrawn. Um, so, uh... He managed to sell that book to me, in the end. By the time I was done with it, I was invested. And believe me, it took its sweet time getting me there, but when it got me there, I stayed there. 
but this book doesn't do that. This book doesn't have enough shit to hold me. It just doesn't. I wish it did. I want to like this book. Partly so that listening to the damn thing would be palatable. You know, something I could live through. It was to my great relief when the credits rolled on that audiobook, because I, I, I wanted to stop it, but I'm like, no, man, not going to be happy if I do that. Um, it's going to be me. Got far too many eggs not to be me. But, um... Ooh, money. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's a prize. That was worth coming here for. I forgot you get a cash prize. The only thing that really made the story palatable and completely worthwhile at all was all the data on kyber crystals. That is to say, lightsaber crystals, basically. That's the only thing I gave more than half a shit about. I'm sorry, but it's true. I didn't care. I just didn't fucking care. But, um, that's over. It's done. Don't listen to it anymore. It's gone. It's out of my life. Uh, oh, it's a rainy day. So old. Not expect the rain to fall today. Okay, there's the garlic. Let me just double check to make sure he's even open today, because I don't know if he is. And if he's not, then we're just closing down for the day, and I'll pick the garlic up tomorrow. So, uh, I mentioned I got a lot of shit done this week. Well, for starters, I've been training Pokemon. That's a thing that you know I do. This is just to see. Thought so. Closed on Wednesday. Oh, it's not it's not Wednesday, it's fucking Sunday. I'm sitting here thinking it's Wednesday. No, we're good. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick all the garlic. All the fucking garlic. It's mine. I own it. I'm gonna use it for garlic related things, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, I've been... That's the thing. Ever since I started going to the library, I just... Every day, almost. No. Not eating the garlic. Almost every day, I'm training Pokemon. It's a thing. You know, it, it's part of my daily routine. It's just, you know, check on my Pokemon. Get some get some shards so I can get some bottle caps. That kind of thing. But getting lots of Pokemon to level 100. Even ones that don't need hyper training. Because I'm training them like six at a time. Originally, I just took my Super Zygarde and had him do all the work, but now I'm at the point where the Pokemon themselves can do all the heavy lifting in Elite Four, so I'm just taking teams with six of them. And I'm getting a lot done. I've probably, in the past week, gotten close to a dozen Pokemon to level 100, and several of them at least partly hyper-trained before I ran out of bottle caps. But um, that's the thing. So I'm, I'm excited because today, and I haven't gone yet, but today I'm going to go in do some Pokemon battles. going to have a blast. Like I always do. I, I have not not had fun at the Pokemon League. It's, it's, it's great. It finally gives me the thing that I've wanted since Red and Blue, which was the chance to just play Pokemon with a ton of people. Okay, I'm going to be honest. The real thing I wanted to do since Red and Blue was basically get all my friends to make gyms. And like, oh, I'm going to train all of this type of Pokemon. I'm going to train this type of Pokemon. And just have people run the gauntlet, you know? Basically have battles between us and decide, oh, I'm the top gym leader. You know, I'm the eighth gym kind of thing. That's not likely just because we only have about eight people who play. But it's nice. I, I enjoy hanging out with people there. I've learned a couple names. Not many, but I've learned a couple. Which is a big deal for me because I don't learn names easily. It's, it's a thing. It's a, it's a failing of mine. So the fact that I've done it at all is kind of, kind of important to me, actually. But... Uh, that, that's something that I've accomplished. More importantly, I've finished three fucking projects this week. I think it was... 6th to 7th? I don't know. But within a couple days, I finished my second run, finally, of... Uh, Forge Job Fiesta. I might have actually done it last week, now that I think about it. But within two weeks, I finished the Forge Job Fiesta second run. Big deal. 
real big deal. I know I've talked about this. I might have talked about it in a different video. Hold on a second. But I'm free of the four job fiesta. And part of me really did want to do another run, but I'm like, no, I've put myself on hold for far too long as it is. So I dive back into Infamous, that is Infamous 1. And uh, I was six videos into Infamous 1 when I stopped for reasons that probably had to do with the fiesta. Um. And I'm done with it now. 40 episodes long. 40. So I did 34 episodes in the span of like 3 or 4 days. Good stuff. Not my greatest work, but here's the kicker. I fucking 100 percent of the damn thing. I didn't think I would possibly 100 percent that damn thing, but I did. I'm very proud of myself, and I should be. That is a point of pride. That I got 100 percent of the blast shards, 100 percent of the dead drops. All the territories cleared. I did a lot. I put in some fucking work that day. And I just recently wrapped up Infamous Festival of Blood, which is a, uh... Fuck, what's it called? Wow, just enough. Infamous of... Infamous of Blood. Festival of Blood is a special DLC for Infamous... Infamous. For Infamous, it's built on the Infamous 2 engine, but it's not part of Infamous 2. It's not like, oh, I have Infamous 2, let me run this. No, it's its own little standalone game. It's like five bucks. I probably got it for like 250 But it is uh, a game where you're a vampire. You get bit by a vampire, and you've got like eight hours. Not even. Not even fucking eight hours. Like, you do a mission, oh, eight hours till sunrise. Four hours till sunrise. One hour till sunrise. Ten minutes till sunrise. Yeah, they don't give you time for shit. But it's pretty short. I got it wrapped in four videos, which is good. Normally I'd be upset about a Let's Play being over so quickly. But I, from the start, wanted to do Festival of Blood as a uh, Halloween thing. And it's already recorded, uploaded, put on the hard drive, all that fun shit. It starts airing on the 28th of this October and ends on the 31st. And they're going up at 10 o'clock. So that's a thing. So yeah, that's that's some special shit right there. And uh, yeah, that's three fucking let's plays done. Three. I'm kind of at a loss as to what I'm gonna do just yet. Uh. There's, like, a dozen fucking Let's Plays that I've just kind of thrown to the wind lately that I could dive into. I actually, before jumping into Infamous, was going to do Philly Fantasy VI, but it's been so long since I played the game that I forget what all the fucking items do. I didn't realize I needed to grind more than I had. And there's, there's a whole bunch of things I just dove into before I was ready. I need to re-familiarize myself with the game a little bit more. But Philly Fantasy VI was actually on the schedule to go up this year, and I took it off. Or not this year, but next year. You know? But I, I took it off because I'm like, this is not going to be done in time. Not in time to go up where Final Fantasy II's slot was. And you know what? It might go back there. I might have it done in time. Right now, uh, Infamous, Infamous had the chance to take that slot, and it was decided by someone in Star's stream, because I asked, uh, that it would instead follow Lego Force Awakens. No big deal. That's kind of how that shit works. Uh, I seem to have more garlic seeds than I have. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. That'll do part of it anyway. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing. That's the thing that's going to happen. So, Philly Fantasy VI, probably on the docket fairly soon. I'm thinking of doing the infamous villain run that I teased during my hero run, which is like, I'm like, oh, if you ask me, I'll definitely do a villain run. I might do one on my own. I'm probably going to do it. The reason I'm going to do it now is because I want to do it while the controls and shit are still fresh in my mind. 
when I don't have to worry about, oh, well, I've forgotten how to do this thing, you know? It's just... Uh, the other option, of course, is Infamous 2, which I could do. And then there's other fun shit like Attack on Titan, and Natalia Rorona, and so many games. I, I can't even fucking Force Unleashed, or not Force Unleashed, Force Awit. No, Jedi Power Battles. Jesus. Force wasn't even in that title, and I tried I fucked it up twice. Although I do gotta do Force Awakens as well. I'll probably wait to do that until I have money. Uh, last week there was no hero clicks for me, because I got rained out. It, uh, pouring down rain. It's Florida, it's the rainy season. And it was just thunderstorms all day. Matter of fact, I got woke up by a thunderstorm, which is unusual. Basically, thunder was rattling the air conditioner behind my head, so I woke up. Storm died down. Uh, that was like, say, 1 o'clock or something. And, oh, God, I'm going to get rained out. Here's some relief that I don't have to go. Here's me being pissed that I can't go. The complicated thing on the one hand. Keep in mind, this is an 8-mile ride for me. Each way. 8 miles there, 8 miles back. It's fucking 16 miles in a day. But uh, I'm sitting there thinking, I, on the one hand, I really want to go. But on the other hand, I don't want to go, you know. The tournament itself seems like it'll be fun. But it also seems like it'll be an awful lot of work just to get to. And it would be. Just like that, once those other two golds come up, I don't have to water shit. It'll all be ready for me. It's nice and simple. So, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, I'm going to walk the dog. It's like, let's say... Because it, it had stopped raining for a while, so I'm like, okay, I'm in the clear, I guess I'm going to go. Let me walk the dog. This is about 3 o'clock. And I'm walking the dog, she poops, she pees, I'm like, okay, cool. You get to roam the house while I'm gone. Because lately I've been letting her out of the kennel when I'm not home. Because usually I would I would kennel her whenever I leave for any real length of time of two hours or more. Kind of thing. For fear that she would shit everywhere without that. Oh, stuff. But, so as we're walking home, keep in mind, when I say walking home, I mean across the street. I literally just have to get through a neighborhood street to get home. It starts to drizzle a bit. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. This is, by the way, when I'm basically crossing the distance of a yard to get across the street. In the time it takes me to get from one end of the street to the other half, it's gone from light drizzle to actual literal downpour. I'm like, I'm not making it today. This ain't fucking happening. You know? So I, I called the judge, or I texted the judge, rather. I'm like, dude, I'm not making it. I'm like, the weather's too bad. And he's like, okay. Like, he didn't believe me. He's like, it's not raining here at all. Is it raining there? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fucking raining here. I tried to send him a video I took, but it was uh, too big a file. So it didn't happen. Uh, not anyone's fault. Shit happens. What gets maple syrup? Something gets maple syrup. This? It's this. Okay, shut the bubble. So yeah, I didn't go. Uh, Anubis actually texted me like, hey, are you going? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, Judge texted me. He's having car trouble, so he can't pick me up. And I figured that, oh, he'll still make it. No, it turns out either he canceled that week completely, or they're just doing the same tournament twice. Because we're doing this tournament again, so I'm going to have another shot at it tomorrow. And weather's been pretty dry, so I might actually make it this time. Here's hoping, because I really do want to do this. I was kind of excited about uh, this one. Crab pot. Oh wait, I can I can fill this one now and get myself a grab pot. Just bundle.
But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see how I got rained out last week, but tomorrow's tournament's going to be 400 points. Anything goes from the two new sets. At least I think it's from the two new sets. Might just be anything goes anything. I'm going to play the Runaways, because I have them. Why not? And we'll see what, what uh, develops. Could be fun. Should be fun, in fact. Uh, time is it? It's currently nine. Nine in the fucking morning. Hold on, who's texting me? Why do I have messaging? I, uh, the text, if you're curious. I texted Sammy asking about Larvitar. She had, uh, promised to make me a little Larvitar. Because I love my Larvitar. Sort of like a little keychain plush. I don't know how big he actually is. He could be palm size. He could be fucking keychain size. He could be actual plushy size for all I know. And I, I have pictures of him in various stages of development. And he's really cute. I mean, it's not like... I don't want to say this. I almost said it's not like a super high quality. No, it's very nicely made. It's just, I mean, it's not like something you would go on a plushy site and pay a hundred bucks for kind of thing. But it's very cute. And she moved and wasn't able to send him to me. So every now and then I'm like, hey, where's Larvitar? And she just said, you have to fucking nail that shit to my head. I promise I have him. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's okay. You know, you're not obligated to send me Larvitar. I really hope that you are, but you're not obligated. You, know, you weren't even obligated to make it for me. This isn't like a paid commission. This is just something she was making some crafts and she offered to make it for me. And I'm like, yes, please. For I am poor and love Larvitar. <laughs> oh, speaking of Larvitar, uh, Star actually has a stream that I want to watch for reasons other than, oh, my friend is streaming. Because not, nothing against Star, but that's, if I'm watching one of her streams, it's not because, oh, I'm, I'm so engrossed in this game, it's because, oh, my friend is streaming this. And that's basically it. That's, oh, my friend is streaming this, I will watch it because she is my friend. She's doing Pokemon Sun as a Nuzlocke, although she has a, a thing where people can basically donate bits to revive shit. And I asked her, hey... I kind of wish we could do eggs or whatever, and she basically agreed, okay, you can, I'll take one of the, I was like, well, how would we do that? I'm like, well, her boyfriend's like, well, you could just catch something, you know, and it's like, oh, if you catch something here, you can send it and not get that Pokemon instead. Or no, he was originally going to say, well, if you could, let's say you get the egg in a city, you wouldn't get the, you wouldn't be able to catch anything in that city if it had grass. And I basically suggested, well, how about instead... It's like, oh, I would get this spot right here. Instead, I will get, or I will catch this thing and send it instead of having the egg. Or, in, in get the egg. And I didn't tell her what the egg is, although she and, like, two other people figured out what it was successfully. It was a Larvitar, obviously, named after me. And it, it will be until the end of the game before she can actually find out for sure. But he's going to be a fucking powerhouse with at least four to five, possibly even six. No, actually, he will have at least five, if not six, perfect stats. Because he was bred with my uh, my two sixers. He, uh, he has got some serious genealogy behind him. And I admit to being mildly curious how his stats are going to turn out. But, uh, I caught a lot of shit for that Larvitar, and rightly so, because one of the things I forget, because I have Hatchers, there are Pokemon with, uh, Magma Armor, or Warm Body, or something like that. There are two, two things that basically, uh, increase your egg hatching rate. Basically, they, they hatch in half the time, kind of thing. And I always have one of those on hand. And it didn't occur to me until after I sent it that she does not have one of those. Partly because Nuzlocke, you know? And partly because she just started the game and another were available until much later. 
So she had to hatch this thing full time, and she doesn't... She's not in the, the hatchery area where she could normally get the eggs and all that shit. There's an area where if you step in between some boxes and hop on a Tauros and run around in circles, you can hatch any egg in like a couple minutes. And she's not there yet, so she had to do it the old-fashioned way. And me and like one or two other people keep telling her, hatch the egg, hatch the egg, hatch the egg, and she's bitching because she, to hatch the egg, she has to run around in circles and do nothing else, and she's getting close to getting to the stream. Well, he hatches last minute, and he's, he's a cutie. And he's level two because she put a rare candy on him, and I'm snarking at her in the comments of the Discord, I'm like, Star, uh, kind of a dick move to just shove candy in a newborn's mouth like that. You're gonna give him larva beaties. <laughs> You know? But, uh... But I, I think he'll do well. He's got good genetics behind him. And he's he's gonna struggle a bit on the second island, because that's where the, uh, the water and grass trials are. But that's also where the fire trial is. And he will excel there. That, that's going to be where he struts his goddamn stuff. And I think he will be a... Uh, assuming she doesn't get him killed, I think he will be a long, consistent member of her team. And I hope that's the case, because I love me some Larvitar. As if my channel icon was any, wasn't an indication of that already. You know? There's a reason that I paid good money to get a Larvitar icon. There's reason I paid less money, but still good money, to get a Ponyfied Larvitar for my pony stuff. And that I am that I have, for the past year or two, been on Sammy every now and then to send me Larvitar, because I want to start taking them around. The thing that reminded me, actually, is uh, one of the girls who goes to Pokemon has these two Piplup plushes. And I found this uh, yellow ranger plush in the street. You know, I did. He was in the street. Or she. Because all the American yellow rangers, uh, uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger version, have been female. It's, uh, my guess is it's Trini, but it could also be uh, Aisha. Not Tanya, she was Zeo. But, uh, I'm like, well, maybe I could bring that just for the hell of it. I'm like, Wait, I should have a Larvitar plush I could bring. That would be awesome. Don't think I won't take that fucker everywhere with me. I will shove him in a pocket or something and just take him. Wear him as a damn necklace. Sammy, can you put him on a string? Why? Larvitar necklace. A little fucking rapper pendant. I'll do it. I don't care. You know what I haven't done in a while? Giving a gift to Haley. Probably doesn't like me anymore. Let's find out. Oh, she's still reasonably fond of me. I think you get a date, if nothing else. Uh, she's probably not home, though. If anyone's guess where the fuck she went now. So, it's, it's been a pretty busy week, and I've got Star Trek coming up. And there's apparently been a change in the schedule. Which is fine. It was originally going to be a $16 tournament. Which I allocated for. I have the money. I want to have the money, but I have the money. And the idea was, oh, we're going to get a randomized ship. And we're going to build a 200-point fleet, etc., etc. Well, I look on the thing, and it's down to $5, and it says, bring your own ship. Which is okay, because that saves me fucking $11. Oh, eleven dollars, big deal. When you're as poor as I am, eleven dollars is a huge deal. Believe me, as much as I would love another ship, the idea that I have eleven dollars more this month, it's even better. It's much better. In fact. I am uh, undeniably thrilled to have that eleven dollars. Can't even fucking tell you how thrilled that makes me. Especially this late in the month when I didn't expect to have that much money. I have an idea of where Haley might be. Probably over here on the farm. Um, so I've got like seven or eight ships just planned. Because that's one of the things they mention is, oh, you could make several ships, you know. 
And I've got I've got like a small assortment of pre-designed 50 pointer ships. All of them are 50, by the way. And they the judge even's like, yeah, dude, this is right up your alley. This is how you play. You like to make dreadnoughts. Or at least heavy cruisers, you know. Dreadnoughts tend to be what they call the meta ships, like the Scimitar and Voyager and all that when you build them to fucking to scale. But I've got a ton of good ships, and I think I can do well with them. You know, it's it's I, I have good feelings about how this will turn out. Oh, I had extra garlic. Wonderful. Well, that's a thing. So, that Saturday, uh, later today, in about... Fuck, what is it? Not 10 o'clock? 9 o'clock? About seven hours from now, I'm going to head on up there to the library, play me some Pokemon for two hours. Come back home to pirate stuff. You know. I have Netflix now. That's a thing. That's that's news. I had enough money this month that I'm like, hey, I should finally, because I've been talking about it forever, finally reactivate my Netflix account. And I had to wait until the third. Well, actually, I had to wait until the fourth to do it because it's one of those. I was gonna wait till the third or the fourth, but it turns out Netflix is one of those. Uh, get billed the day before you. Do your thing. So, if I had if I had waited till the third, I'd been billed on the second, and then I'd been boned because I don't get paid on the second; I get paid on the third. But uh, turns out I've been out of Netflix long enough that I qualify for a freebie. Yeah, free month, free month for Kyrix. So I actually got to save all of that money, and I still have it, and that makes me happy. Funny thing is, I've actually got a bunch of money coming from the roommate, and we got to allocate how much it is, because he has recently taken to having me run errands for him, since I have money in my account, and having me get it on my account, and just quick paying me the money, because we have the same bank, and he can do that. So, i got to see what's uh, what he owes me, give him the number, and have him send it to me. No big deal. And, oh, hey, hey, Linus, want some salmon berries? I know they're everywhere, but hey, have some salmon berries, buddy. I know you like food. I like food, too. Don't know what salmon berries taste like. Probably wouldn't like them. Kind of a picky eater. Um. Do you like salmon berries? No, you probably like good things. I have not. Yep, see, you don't like those. You have taste. Yeah, because of this game, I get the distinct impression that salmon berries taste like hot garbage. Because they're worth nothing to sell. They're not even worth, really, the trouble it takes to pick them. Nobody but Linus fucking likes them, and that's because he's a starving homeless man. He can't really afford to be picky when it comes to food. I mean, the only way, only reason they're worth picking is because they're everywhere, they're free, and if you pick like a hundred of them, they're worth, I don't know, the cost of a couple crops. Kind of a huge waste, really. I'll give this silver flower to Haley because she's, she's a sweetheart. Hi, kid. No, don't eat the flower. It's for Haley. She can eat it if she wants to. I don't care. It's her damn flower. Let her eat it. Wouldn't recommend it because it's, you know, a goddamn flower, but hey, nom 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 nom. But, uh, yeah. Just, you know, go down there, hang out, play Pokemon. I, I keep making jokes about, oh, you should see when I crush the hopes of all the teenagers there. It really is fun, because I am kind of one of our top-tier guys, you know? It's it's fun to have anyone look at you like you're awesome. Because when it comes to actual, you know, battling, I am at best mediocre or downright horrible when it comes to battle in the meta. You know? But I'm good enough to hold my own against everyone there, at least in singles. So, you know, it's, it's, a little, it's a little ego boost. It's nice. 
Plus, I've got a couple Pokemon that have just gone into fucking legend there, like uh, Starlet, my Sinchino. Uh, everyone lives in mortal fear of Starlet because she's a killing machine. She, uh, I've talked about her before. She is a, uh, she's lightning fast for one thing. So she's going to outrun just about, I don't know, 75% of the shit you throw at her. Or at least 75% of the shit they'll throw at her because not all of them have perfect stats. So she's going to go first, and she's going to hit five times. And none of the hits do a lot of damage, but she has the King's Rock, and each one of those five hits has a 10% chance of causing flinching. So each one of them rolls separately, chances are she's going to make you flinch. And if she does, you're not getting to move that turn, and she's going to go again and do the same thing. So she can whittle you down, nickel and dime you to death, without you ever getting a swing back. And that's the funny thing, is if you hit her, she's going to die. She's not that tanky. But she doesn't have to be, because she's faster and she can stun lock your ass. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch her work. But the funny thing is, uh, one of the guys there who is probably, out of the kids at least, the best battler. And even though I feel like a kid, I can't really count myself as one of the kids because, you know, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> but yeah, he's one of the best battlers they have as far as the miners go. And he was talking about his team, and he's like, yeah, all mine have perfect stats, and I just kind of give him a blank look. I'm like, dude, I just assumed that all of your Pokemon had perfect stats if you were battling with them. And he just gave me this blank look, because that was meant to intimidate a little bit, to make me nervous. Like, oh shit, he's got really good stats. I'm like, I, I was under the assumption that all of your Pokemon did that already. Because <laughs> that's how mine are. And he saw, he, he heard that and he's like, oh shit. He, he's on my level, <laughs> you know? I'm like, all mine do that, I assumed yours did too. But uh, I, I, I do tend to win more of the battles than I lose. You know, and I, I try to lose gracefully when I do lose. I, of course, make excuses to why I lose, but not, not in a bitchy kind of way. Like, oh, you only lost because I did this. You know, I, I... Believe me, when you beat me, it's, it's hard won. I, I fucking make you work for it. And you at least deserve the recognition. Then, yeah, you whooped my ass. Though, I still love the fact of uh, the multi we were in last week, where my partner... And I'm not trying to, to rag on him, because he did good. But he, he kind of botched the opening. <laughs> he, he, he gave them a turn that they shouldn't have had, basically. But for whatever reason, they focused exclusively on him and just let me keep building up and building up and building up. And then I goddamn steamrolled them, because by the time they realized what was going on, it was too late to stop. You know? Basically, picture me rolling a six-ton boulder up to the top of a hill. By the time they noticed that I had this six-ton boulder, it was at the top of the hill on its way down, and there was nothing they could do to stop it. That six-ton boulder, of course, being an adorable little Pokemon called an Espeon named Celestia, and she destroyed them all. I just wish we'd actually finished the battle to uh, be able to record or save the record of the battle. But just basically, we, we walked too far away from one of the participants and it cut the, cut the feed. You know, because it does that. But there was no doubt in any of the four of our minds that I won that fight. You know, because... I mean, even assuming they did kill Celestia, which was not happening... I think he critted her, and it still didn't one-shot her. And if he doesn't one-shot her, she's just going to get right back up with Morning Sun. But, uh... Basically, you'd have to crit her twice in a row, or two or three times in a row to kill her, and he couldn't do that. But, even if he killed her, I still had a Drift Limb with an attack left. And I still had my Eevee, which I think also had an attack that it could use. And I just needed to outrun him to finish the job, you know. But that brings us to the end of this. This is going to go up nice and early for a change. 
Like, it's, it's not even fucking noon and I'm done. So, I'll see you next week with uh, more data. Bye-bye, everybody!